everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair, and today I would like to talk about how to install a Brother printer. There are a few different printer companies on the market that you might find in a big box store, uh, Brother Epson Canon, uh, HP, uh, and maybe Kodak. I generally like to go with Brother, and let's go over how to install one. I have a uh, printer connected to my wireless network that uh, has no ink in it because it's an inkjet, and we've decided not to uh, buy any more ink for it. Instead, we bought a uh, color laser printer, but we do use it because it's an all-in-one. We do use it to scan, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, run through installing it on my computer. Uh, let's check. I wrote down the printer name here. It's a J835DW. We're going to go to Brother's website. And uh, I recommend people do this even if they just bought the printer. It's always best to go to the website because they're going to have the latest driver. Uh, your printer may have been sitting on the shelf for six months. It may have uh, an older driver there and uh, it may have some sort of bug in it or or they may have included a feature or something and so yeah go to the website right here brother-usa.com and then what we're going to do is we're going to go for home we're going to click there we're going to click on uh, support and we're going to click on uh, brother support and we're going to type in the name of our printer. And uh, all we really have to do is type in the 835. And you can see right here, there's the uh, name of the printer. And then we're going to tell it to search. And then we're going to click on the name of the printer right here. And right here it says downloads and drivers downloads and our online solution center and here we are here's the printer right there and there's windows that's our operating system and then we say search right down here and then right here it says uh, full driver and software package so we're gonna click on that then we're going to click on agree to the EULA and download and you can see in the lower left hand corner right here that it is now downloading the driver so we're going to be patient and we're going to wait until this little ring gets around the circle there and I've got a pretty fast connection so it's moving pretty well And three, two, one, bingo. Okay, so now we have the driver downloaded. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this link here. And the driver will begin the installation. And it's unpacking the files that came with the driver. And we say yes when it asks us if we want to allow the app to make changes. And English, yes. And we say yes again. Uh, this is going to be a wireless network connection. So we say that. And then we say next. And we do want to allow the printer driver to change the firewall, so we just say next. And now the uh, driver is going to look for the printer and it finds it right here. Now if it doesn't find it, then what you've got is maybe you have not set the printer up on the wireless network. So what you want to go, what you want to do is you want to go to the printer and you want to run through the menu to set the printer up on the wireless network uh, and then hit back and then next again and it should be able to find it once uh, the printer is associated with the network then after you do this then you're going to click on next and it will install all of the software 
that you're going to use to run the printer, which is primarily the software that will allow you to scan to the print to the computer from the printer. And there it goes. All right, so oh, it's got another little software package to install here. All right, now it's going to ask me if we want to install the device software. We're going to say yes. And then it wants to know if we want to uh, see here. What does it say? To view or download a manual, click on view manuals, blah, blah, blah. And then to click, click next. So basically it's just offering the ability to uh, download the manual. We're just going to click next. We don't really need to register it. We're going to click next. Uh, you can set it as the default printer. We're not going to do that. We want the laser printer to be the default printer. Uh, we don't need to do a trial photo print, so we're going to deselect that. Uh, if this was your only printer, you would main, you would keep that set as default printer checked. Then you're going to click Next. Then we're going to uh, restart the computer, and then I will pick this video up after the restart. Okay, so as soon as the computer booted up, uh, came up with all this nonsense uh, on the screen. And the first thing it's going to tell me is that the printer doesn't have enough ink to maintain print quality, and that's because the printer doesn't have any ink in it because it ran out ages ago, and I you know, didn't really see any need to put more ink in because I really just use it as a scanner. The second thing that comes up is this uh, software update setting. So it'll do software updates automatically. So I'm just going to say OK. And then the third thing that comes up is them trying to get us to uh, uh, participate in some uh, product improvement thing. So you can just X out of that. OK, uh, let's go to control panel. And let's go to devices and printers and see if we have a printer installed. And we previously had this installed because Windows 10 automatically identified it on the network, but it also installed another version of that, which is fine. And then what we really want to do now is find the Brother Utilities icon right there. Now the Brother Utilities icon is important because that's how we're going to get to the scanning capabilities of the uh, printer. We're going to double click on Brother Utilities. We're going to make sure this says scan right there. If it doesn't, that means that the driver was, uh, did not, the driver installation did not go well. But as long as you see scan right there, you're good. Then you click on Control Center 4. Then you choose one of these. Most people, they choose home mode, say, okay, you're only going to see that once after you uh, install the thing. Then you uh, give it a sec. And any second now. There we go. We should see this popping up. Now, sometimes it will pop under like that, and you just kind of have to click on that window to get it to pop up. Uh, so this should pop up right here. Then all you have to do in order to scan is left click on the scan tab right there and then left click where it says scan. And from there it should 
go get the scanner, which I have in another room, and start scanning. And again, it sometimes it'll pop under like that. You just click right there. And that, if there was something on the scanner, you can kind of see the faint outline of a sheet right there. Um, that is what has been scanned. And then there you can save it. You can print it. If you're using Outlook, you can send it in an email, blah, 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 blah. Now, you want to, uh, when you're, uh, if you don't save it and you just close it and you go back and you open it again, it'll still be there. So what you want to do is if you decide, oh, I didn't really need that scan document, uh, but I also didn't, I didn't want to save it. I didn't mean to scan it, whatever. You want to click clear and that will clear it out and then you can scan something else. And that is how you install and scan using a uh, Brother printer. And once again, that is, uh, that is the preferred printer that I like to advise people get. Of course, I always advise people get a laser printer these days because the costs are uh, comparable with inkjet printers and the ink cost is, is so much more uh, economical. If uh, you like this video, please uh, like it and share it and please subscribe to my channel. And if anybody in the Memphis, Cordova, Germantown, Collierville, Midtown area need in-home computer repair, perhaps a printer installation, please feel free to call me, Dave Bensman, at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362. And as always, stay safe.